come through here. Do you need a hand with, with that professor? Or? Uh, no, Stephen. Okay. We'll be fine, Stephen. Okay. We'll do um. Lucinda. Lucinda. Hold on. Please okay. hold on. Are you... Okay. Hang on. Hang on, I'm stuck against the door. Lucinda, please just wait. Oh my. Hang on, I've come in. Sorry, Stephen. Just hold on. Yep, you're fine. Right. Get in. Okay. Not so rough, Lucinda. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Well, this is the entry hall, obviously. Can we please come in? Can we please move through? Do you think we should shut the door behind us? There's a cold air. Certainly, certainly. Okay, just go through there, guys. Have a look. Well, 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 Stephen. Oh, stop, listen. It is marvellous. Keep going. It is a marvellous space. Oh, yes. I see. I see you. Just come on through again, Professor. See, did you see that doorknob? Give me a... Give me a Sorry, door. but there you go. Thank you, Stephen. You are a gent, sir. Thank you. Thank come you, Just to the formal dining room here. Look, listen, another doorknob. Yes? The dining room. Yeah. Stephen, as you can see, the Cindy and I both wear glasses. Ah, and ooh. And when I was a boy, my mother thought my eyes were too close together, okay. so I got some corrective spectacles, yes? I see. So, I see. formal dining room. That's right. The Cindy, stop. What, what is this here? That, that's an atrium space. Yeah. An atrium! Yep. Good lord. Is your work of the people, or do you find the people are off your art? Well, I work out, you know. I got to go to the supermarket sometimes. It's it's hard, you know. Busy traffic. I don't know. I mean, what time is it? Um, nice pictures. I keep getting reminded of that, that by, people, by like people like you. Andy, is your work, your expression, the profound expression of art, is it the work of nature or of machine? But wasabi was a mistake. Get some seaweed and you put some rice in it with some fish in the middle. Fiddle Anton, tell them about that. Anton. Give me the time, don't take it. Alright, man. Remember that? It was three, do you? I don't have them. What about friends? Do you make do you shut make up, friends? Shut up, man. You shut up. Time, don't take it. Give me. We're, we're mates. Like, we're friends pretty close, see? Not even. Give me my ball. When he's not. Not when he's not fully angry at me, we're friends. Do you guys have a sense of community down here at the. Oh, at man, the... you're so gay. What are these questions about community? I'm not some kind of gay. I mean, I just wanted to play ball. This guy rips me off. You ruined the game. I'm gonna get a scholarship, man. Easy. Do you find 
enjoyment in fitness? Like, is this a... No, I don't. What about you, mate? Do you find enjoyment in getting your balls licked? Hey? I bet you do, Mr. City. Yeah, with all your, your pants and your fancy shoes. Hey, what do they call your shoes, you know? They look pretty fancy, all two-tone yeah, leathers. Is he giving us money for this? You as money, man? No. Give some money for this, man. Oh, come no, on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Yeah, how much? God, you got to pay for this. It was organised through the community house that you're staying at. Community house? What are you talking about? It's volunteer base. I don't live in no community, community, community house. house. I live with my dad. Big, nice house. Love my dad. Big, was... nice house called the cemetery. <laughs> what does that mean? He's dead, man. It's not true. Big house, it's like beautiful place, man. Got my own bedroom, private spa bar. Yeah, yeah, Basketballs, yeah. this jersey. What do you think yeah. I got a jersey like this? My dad. Yeah, what? Talking it up, man. What talking it up. Man. Keep talking, man. Keep talking. Hey, man, if you want a real story, come to my place. I've got some of the best DVDs. That's what you want a real story. You want to hang around with this loser? Fine.
flip flop. <laughs> A magician's surprise for a little girl. <coughs> Cooper Cronk. <coughs> Minimal giggle. Raspberry jelly. Wrong bottom. Side bottom. <laughs> the test subject responded with giggle. Science has studied hilarity. Conclusions, results, good. Everyone knows a lot about karate. He fights dirty. He fights hard. He fights mean. He'll kill ya. I took my leprechaun to the United Nations. They said, where's he from? I said... The Philippines! They believe me! Maintain a good sense of depth, space, paint of all. Maintain your sense of paint. Cover up. Oh, what happened? Bob, what did you do? Down here. <laughs> but what does it need? Uh, it needs a few things. But the main thing that it needs is a little bit of character. When I say character, I mean an archangel, of course, in the middle of the river. Teeth. Give him some eyes, give him a mouth, and a nose, and some teeth. Now the teeth are important, vertical strokes once again, give him a little hairdo, whatever you like. Oh look, oh, and there we have it, the P.S. to Resistance, a la Bob Dylan, here for you on Arts Beat. Week after week, it's been another great week. I hope you've had a terrific time, and I have. Please join us again next week. Another work of art and another good time. See you then. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. The test results are in, and I'm afraid it is bad news. Just, just tell it to us straight. Joel. Glenn is not your biological son. Oh, hell. Oh my god, but how can that be? I will, I'll explain it as, as best I can. Alright, let's say this is Glenn. Yes. That's Glenn's room. Now number one, the Glenn that you know and love is a male Caucasian yes. man. Yes. Number two, 
the glen here is a pretty um, young Caucasian woman. Yes. Blonde hair, midget limbs. Yes. The sound box. Yes. Number three. Now watch Glenn when I do this. Number three. Oh! Oh, oh, oh hell. Oh, oh, my oh hell. Oh, no. What are you at, mate? What are you at? There's no need. There's no need to worry. This is not your son. This isn't Glenn. Right. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Of course. Yes. Of course. You see, if Glenn were your son, he would be in immense pain right now. Yes. You see, Glenn is fine. Yes. Yes. This, um... The, th the thing, she cannot be your son. Glenn cannot be your son. It's, it's science. You see, it doesn't, doesn't have a, f it's yeah. missing things. There's, look, I could. Right. The sound is there, but there's not. I mean, the head is nothing. Doctor, are you sure? I'm dead sure. But, what does he mean, Dad? What? what He's saying mean? you're an imposter. But Glenn, it's science. You're not our son. You're not even a girl, Glenn! Oh, God! Glenn, it's science! Sorry, Don't make me come down there! <laughs> come on. Mom. Mom. Oh, God, no. Mom. Get out there. Mom. Get out there. two beings, Jeremiah and An and Andy. Does your expression, Andy's expression, does it take place only here in New York City? Or does it take place anywhere else around the world even the galaxy, just as it would here in New York City. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand. Now I understand. Smoke billows into a room. Are you affected? Is your work affected? <coughs> you are affected. Yeah. Did we connect? Just then. When the smoke filled the room. And you coughed. Did we connect? You're a jerk. Jerk. 
my handy. Handy. Nice fish. Nice fish. That worked really perfectly, didn't it? That was amazing.